full length. It's standard on all the cars. Wait, it's standard? That's the standard feature, yeah. But <laughs> we said that it would be a really expensive optional extra. <laughs> I mean, at Ferrari, it's 11 grand to have that. No, no, it's standard on the car. So <laughs> we've worked very hard that you can get a spec on this car yeah. that you can just drive off in. Wow. Happy car. What is up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome back to my dream driveway. Now this video is being filmed in advance because I've got an amazing exclusive opportunity to head up to Milton Keynes to see the Aston Martin DBX with no camo whatsoever. Now, Aston Martin are my second favorite manufacturer. As you all know, Lamborghini number one. I'm here with Aston Martin Hatfields, Aston Martin Vantage that I've had for the last two months. I've done about 1500 miles on this car and I absolutely love it. And of course, I love Aston Martin. And the DBX is a massively important car for the brand, for the company, but also, an Aston Martin SUV, how cool can it get? I can have an Aston Martin Vantage and a DBX here and have the ultimate two-car garage. I still think that's pretty good two-car garage behind me. I'm rambling on. What I want to say just before we start this video is I was not a fan of the DBX with all of the camouflage on it. But as we know, Aston Martin do not get their designs wrong. So I'm fairly confident that without the camo, it is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful car. And I'm gonna go into as much detail as possible with you guys as we take a first look at the Aston Martin DBX and also my first reactions of seeing it in the flesh for the first time with my eyes. So this is gonna be a huge video and I cannot wait to kick things off. So because this is such a momentous occasion, I feel like I'm gonna have to change. In about 60 minutes, we're gonna lose light. So I'm gonna take this hoodie off, I'm gonna take this baseball cap off, and I'm gonna try and make myself look a little bit more presentable, ready for today's video. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London as we take a look at the brand new Aston Martin DBX. Here we are then, secret location in Milton Keynes. You may have thought that I was gonna come in a three-piece suit. Well, this is as dressed up as it gets on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. But inside these curtains is an experience that we, myself, and Alex holding the camera are about to experience. We're gonna be meeting up with Phil, who is the regional president for the UK and South Africa of Aston Martin. So, cool. Oh. Through the curtains. Don't get lost. Phil. How cool, it, how cool is this? Welcome to DBX Confidential. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I've got my camera at the ready. Alex is also filming. Great. Are we ready to see a camo free? <laughs> camo free. Because <laughs> both me and Alex said that we actually like didn't know whether we were going to like it or not. Wow. With the camo on, you've hidden some things. Yeah, yes, yeah, definitely. Aston Martin do these events so, so well. Oh, wow. It's a true adventure. Driving a DBX is about freedom. It's incredibly confident, incredibly powerful, beautiful to drive. Any Aston Martin has to have both an eye to the future and an eye to the past. When you see DBX, you can exactly see that lineage. It is the oh, largest grille for the front of the car, the finest character. Look to the rear and you'll see the similarity to the Vantage and the racing car. People are going to feel exhilarated when they're driving DBX. We are a 160 year old company that's made sports cars all the time. In this pursuit of beautiful, DBX doesn't use anybody else's architecture. It's an adventure for sure. But it's restless, capable of driving anywhere. The goal of this car is to be the best handling SUV in the market. Aston Martins are about authenticity. It's like a Savile Row suit. It's been made to your specification. Made with passion and love. DBX is the most beautiful SUV that exists. It has all the dynamic capabilities of a sports car. You will feel like you're in Aston Martin. This is it, we're not, we're not, we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, uh, there she is. There's no faking reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. Wow. 
That is so far from what I was expecting it to look in terms of like, you did a good job with that camo. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know whether it's like the lighting is really complimentary to the lines, but how have Aston Martin turned what they camoed up and that was driving around Goodwood for festival speed into this? It doesn't even look like the same shape of car. No. And actually like when you're up close to it, in the photos it looked really small, but it's actually big. There's a hell of a lot of carbon fiber like down here. I think they've incorporated the Vantage into that rear end so well. I was literally about to go, how have you taken the <laughs> Vantage rear end and put it on an SUV and still made it look good? Also carbon fiber for days down oh, here as well. Carbon fiber like exhaust. Yeah, yeah I've never seen housing. that before. I actually didn't think I was gonna see it in this color. I mean, imagine being in the position where you've been invited here by Aston Martin to be like, come and have a look at the DBX, it's a really important car for us. Yeah. Gone through all of that, seen this car and go, like everyone that's come to look at this car has like, got enough money to buy one. Checks books are out. 158 grand. How would you not <laughs> just like write checks? Yeah. I are talking to say like <laughs> writing checks is the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like Apple Pay. <laughs> just put it on my Apple Pay. Oh my God. Do you know what really struck out to me? Like, let's come and stand at the angle that I actually saw it at. And it's actually, look down the door. Yeah. It's not flat at all. Like, there, down here, there is a hell of a lot of aero that's been incorporated into this car. The, the, the curves and the lines are literally perfect. I'm taller than it. I'm like much taller than it, with my hair as well. Yeah. <laughs> Should we have a look inside? Yeah, actually, yeah, I haven't even looked at it in the interior. Classic Aston Martin door handles. Yeah. Oh my God, like carbon fiber. Oh, look, it's got the central bridge. tunnel. Looks like you can like charge your phone on that patch there. Oh, huge screen. Still got the classic Aston Martin gear selects here, which I quite like. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Film, film the panoramic room. Oh, geez. Oh, that's a huge roof. <laughs> wow. I think that's going to be a pricey option, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. You stay there. Because yeah. this is this is actually class leading spatial oh, good facts. for passengers and the driver, which means that it's actually more spacious than Bentayga, Urus, Range Rover. It's got longer wheelbase than a Range Rover. Okay, good knowledge. This is literally like the biggest panoramic roof window thing that I've ever seen. One thing that I think is super cool about Aston Martins, and it's a bit of a gimmicky feature, but we'll deal with that, is when you push the brake, the engine start-stop goes red. It's like, yeah, I'm ready to start. Ooh. I had to pick my camera up because we've got complete free reign over this place. Myself and Alex just exploring the DBX, and this is the first time caught on camera that our eyes laid on this absolute beauty. And you were just saying, it's got quite a Zagato front end to it, really it right? Does. Look at these side lights down here. Incredibly similar to the uh, like Vanquish Zagato. Yeah. 
um, but I am so excited. My heart is genuinely racing. This car is a huge, huge car for Aston Martin. And it's quite a big car, so that works out perfectly. But the engine, of course, is the four liter bi-turbo V8, which is phenomenal and can be tuned up to crazy power as we've seen with Mercedes and obviously through Aston Martin as well. 550 PS, 700 Newton meters of torque. And one of the most interesting facts about the DBX is obviously all of the other super sports SUVs are working off manufacturer platforms. This is 100% from the ground up brand new. So they haven't borrowed a chassis like the so Urus, like the Bentayga. It of being shared with a car that's a third of the price. Exactly. 158,000 pounds. And one of the coolest facts about this car, you don't even know this, is you can spec a pet package. That is cool. So family orientated, you've got a dog, you can spec a pet package on that. And it comes with uh, like a automatic washing thing. Comes nice. with little dog beds, little dog baskets, or whatever. I don't even have a dog, but so if you had I'd want a dog after one of your runs, you get yourself in the boot and wash yourself down. Yeah, it's got a snow package as well, so you can warm up your ski boots. Wow, I thought of everything. Yeah, I'm not joking. Like this is a seriously revolutionary car, not only for Aston Martin but for the entire automotive Imagine world. rocking up to a ski resort in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining how I'd spec it. And it's not far off that, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it is an absolutely beautiful car. And hopefully we have done it justice in this part of the video. But obviously I've missed out quite a lot of key facts of what makes this an Aston Martin, the characteristics, the way that this car drives and how you are in control from the driver's seat. So I'm gonna get Phil back in and so that he can talk me through some yeah. of the cars. So I'm gonna get you to hold the camera again. All right. And uh, let's get Phil on and we can discuss DBX in a little bit more detail. Okay, I've kind of shaved off the top line facts in terms of what the DBX is, but can you just talk us through what makes this car a true Aston Martin? Because I think that's important, being a sports Absolutely. utility vehicle, how do you get it to be still an Aston Martin for customers that are buying into this? So this car, We've been working on this car for four and a half years now. 2015, we showed a concept, the two-door concept we showed yes. at Geneva. Yeah. And since then, we've been working with a blank page. So I'd say the first stages of that were just really looking at what makes the best luxury SUVs out there. We, engineers had a lot of fun with other people's cars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can imagine. Um, and then really being able to work from our own platform, doing exactly what we thought we needed to do to be best in class. Yeah. And I'd say there were three main objectives in the process. So customers are looking for the confidence, versatility of an SUV. As we walk around the car, we'll talk you through that. This is designed to give the exhilaration of a GT car. And the third objective was to make sure we had the craftsmanship and luxury of an Aston Martin. So I mean, three, they're three, the three goals. Yeah, three quite three, ambitious. Yeah. And people will be able to decide how well we've done. Well, I mean, I think from my judgment, and I think these guys can probably agree, that this is an absolutely stunning car that deserves to bear the Aston Martin wings. Absolutely, so we start at the front. We've got the, the DB grille. Which is iconic in Aston Martin, uh, but absolutely massive on the DB. Absolutely <laughs> massive, obviously in the context of the shape and design of the car. It was. An enormous badge, again, jewellery badge just as we have on the sports car. Is this surely the largest badge ever to be on an Aston Martin? Yes, without question. <laughs> yeah. It's a big one. And then just looking at some of the features. So as we have tried to achieve the, <clears throat> the aerodynamics for the, for the sports performance, here you've got the daytime running lights. These double up as, a, as indicators. Looking inside there, you've got an aero. Uh, I mean, as a design feature, very, very cool. But actually, has a function. Absolutely, everything on this car, if it's on the car, it's doing a job. Yeah. So there's no sort of fake vents or <laughs> dummy yeah, yeah, you, can, you can see everything literally is in work. One feature to point out is this rear glass. The aero will keep the water off of that. As you see, there's no cumbersome wiper, because it doesn't <laughs> yeah. need to be one. Yeah, so. that, is a, that is actually something that I didn't notice at all. I just looked around the car and you kind of take it for granted yeah. that it just looks so clean. Absolutely. But actually, there is thought behind why it looks so clean, and I kind of feel bad now that I completely missed that there isn't a windscreen wipe, <laughs> and it's so good that there isn't. Yeah, it is beautiful, and like the rear shoulder as well. When you're standing here and looking at the car, yep. 
there's just unlimited angles for taking photos of this thing. And Absolutely. I think and Aston Martin needs to have that as well. It needs to be able to command the road presence yep. and when you park up, it's like any Aston Martin, you feel like you're arriving at the event and you feel mm. elegant, sophisticated. You, you, when you're talking of every angle, it's worth just having a look at the top there, the panogra panoramic glass roof. Yeah, full length. It's standard on all the cars. Wait, it's standard? That's the standard feature. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we said that it would be a really expensive optional extra. <laughs> I mean, at Ferrari, it's 11 grand to have that. No, no, it's standard on the car. So <laughs> we've worked very hard that you can get a spec on this car yeah. that you can just drive off in. Wow. Happy car. Oh, it's just, I mean, it is actually one of the coolest cars that I've seen in a long time. And it's different to what you're expecting. Totally different. Totally different. I, I actually was a little bit nervous. Obviously, DBX, I've got to come and have a look at it. Yeah. Being invited here, you just have to come and, and film. But there was, still, not there was still a part of me where I was like, Oh my god, and like if it actually looks anything like what the camo cars are, and uh, I saw it at Goodwood Festival Speed, obviously yeah, yeah, under, yeah. under camo, but yeah. this is, as you say, a completely finished Aston Martin article, yeah. and I am in love. I mean, the car's been sweating under all that camo for a long time now, so <laughs> yeah. we're pretty, pretty, pretty yeah. pleased to get it out in the open. Yeah. Fantastic. This is unbelievable. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Aston Martin DBX has been unveiled to the world. Let me know what you think in the comment box and then go and head into the YouTube world because there are gonna be so many other videos of this car that go into different details, different dynamics, stats, specifications that get a little bit more nerdy and geekier than just our raw emotion of seeing it for the first time. But Phil, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so helpful. cool. This is the DBX. I can't wait to drive it. Thank you very much. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.